guys, Nick of Nicktastic Art. Thank you so much for stopping by the art channel this evening. It means a lot to me. The piece today is going to be a combination of some really pretty reds. I've got some Azo Deep and some Rose Mater with some gold. Put in a little bit of a burgundy custom mix to see how that would interplay with the colors. Join me on this journey, won't you? Hi guys. Um, I was spinning something out earlier and this canvas got <laughs> caught in the spin fire. So we are going to do a freestyle. That's kind of what I'm feeling like doing. And we're going to color block that with the white. Um, so this is an 18 by 24 canvas. And we're going to get started with just laying out some white in the places where I kind of want to have some separation between the colors, basically. And then we'll be tilting this one out. So boy, there's a lot of bubbles in that white. Got our air bubbles popped. We are gonna be working with a um, Rose Mater from Soho, uh, Azo, Azo De Red Deep, Azo Deep Red, sorry. A custom color that I've got here. Um, and actually, I may drop this. Um, it's a burgundy copper. I may drop this in the white as well. Yeah, I think I want to do that. Um, warm gray from Amsterdam. I've got my two golds that I always use. One is precious gold from Pebio and one is um, Amsterdam's gold. And then we'll put some white in here too. So because I know um, that I want the white to kind of mix with some other colors, I'm gonna blade this first. It also means it's the last one I'm gonna see when I drop it down. So I pour down the side, and forgive my hands, I've already been working on a different piece earlier. And I'm actually gonna take the lightest color next to that. So this is gonna be a pink, and I'm running it down the side of the cup so it doesn't over mix. Now I do wanna have the oranger of the two golds with this. So I'm gonna put that next, and that'll give a really nice shine. And I'm gonna put the warm gray on top of that. And this is Amsterdam's warm gray. I'm gonna go through two rounds of this cup, so I need to remember in what order I did. So I did the white, the pink, the gold, the warm gray. Gonna put this rose mater in here. Love this color. Just gonna make sure it's getting something weird happening in it with it when I poured it out. So, oh, there it is, there it comes. Hmm, that'll be interesting. The Azo Deep, I'm gonna put that right in there. Hopefully those two kind of blend together. I'm gonna put this custom color in here so that it's also in here, but I don't have very much of it left, which is why I kind of wanted to call it out here in the white. And then I'm gonna put the Precious Gold. And then I'm gonna go through these colors again. That should be good. I've got this about three-fourths of the way filled up, if you're wondering how much I stack. And what we're gonna do with this freestyle now is we're just gonna kinda of throw the colors in a very gentle motion like this. Ooh, that's got a lot of gold there. I might have to add some more red in the bottom section here based on what I'm seeing. And that's okay. Okay, where do I need this? I need this to come through here. I'm gonna take all these colors and squish them together. And kind of pull them through the center section here as well. I wanted to cross that white.
grabbing the last little bit here and putting it on this corner. And I've got to move this gold because this gold is doing some crazy things. So that's where we stand. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wiggle this a little bit so I can see how much paint is actually on here. And so I can kind of evaluate where I'm going to need to put some extra red. Because I definitely know I need it. Alright. And that's going to be... I think we're going with the Azo Deep here. Um, because we're going to have a lot of light color. So we're gonna we're gonna bring in the the deeper reds here, and I'm gonna bring that in here. I think we should be good. Maybe a little bit right here. Now we've got a big gap right there in the center. So I'm going to fill this with the Rose Mater. And then I am going to take that gold and move the gold just like I did down here. The gold at the top. I'm going to use my number two for that maybe. Uh, maybe not. I got these really interesting tools. Um, they look like this. So it's not a paintbrush, it's actually flat. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of sweep this across. And I'm going to do that same thing this direction. Now I am going to roll that right back though. To see if I can't get that to shift up a little bit here. Okay, we got to be ready to roll. All right. That's fine. We're ready. We're ready. This works really good on the sides. Wow. Okay. Huh. Interesting. I've not used this tool before. I got it, and then I didn't do anything with it. Okay, so we're going over the top first. We're going to walk it slowly. Walking it down. Walking it down, walking it. Gonna take that a little bit more, bringing it back. This time we're gonna go ahead and go over. As soon as I hit that, I'm gonna bring it back. I know you guys can't see for a minute, and then I'm gonna take it the other side. Keep going. There we go, bring it back. All right, give me just a minute to get it back and down here. Got all the sides over, walking it slowly across the sides. And I'm gonna walk it back. I have a handful of red now. Okay, we're gonna take this the other direction here. So lifting up and going over. Okay, getting them to the side there. Now I'm going to bring it down. And there is a reason for what I'm doing here. There we go. Okay. I needed to make sure I get this side fully covered. And with it higher on the canvas, I wasn't going to be basically able to guarantee that yet. From the top, I'm just tipping down to get that last little bit on the corner over there. I know you guys can't see but it's almost there just taking this all the way off here giving it some paint to be able to move on basically and now i want to shift it back because we've got so much of this We've got a lot of paint on here yet.
Just gonna check for a moment, yeah. So what's interesting is I really like everything right now, um, except this one little section here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some Azo on there to kind of help it off. Again, the paint will pull other paint off. And that's what I want to have happen there. I want to have that help pull it off. Okay, now I'm gonna bring this back a little bit because I want some of this bottom to come back. And then what I'm gonna do, is shift it down. Don't worry about all the paint that you see below. I always scrape my table and I use that in another piece. Okay, so I'm liking this. I just wanna get it down now. Yep, it's not quite in the center. I need to move this back just a little bit more. And we're gonna take it down one more time. Okay. I think we're gonna get more gold cells like this as it sits and thinks about what it's gonna do. So let's take a look at the dried results. And here are the dried results. Boy, this piece, I just really love it. Um, I couldn't decide actually which way it wanted to be hung. So I'll show you guys the other direction as well. And you can let me know in the comments which way you prefer the piece hung. And here it is the other direction. Boy, I like this too. Um, but anyway, the, the real interesting point of this piece um, is that center section to me that just really encompasses kind of a movement and a feeling. Um, I like how the custom burgundy came through the white. I think that adds a really interesting dimension. And the interplay of the gold just is is super beautiful. Let's come in here for a little bit closer look. So this bottom section, wowzers. I don't know if you can see the shine or not, but I'll move it slightly a little bit here. But that just pops. That little section of the white interacting with that burgundy, super pretty, but my goodness, to me, right here, this is, this is the piece de resistance. Um, it just, it's just so, just interesting. There's so much movement there. I love the little ring up towards the center or this corner here. And I, I really enjoy the way the gold kind of wisps down through this side here all the way to that point. So overall, very happy with this piece. I think it's a, it's a good one. And someone that loves red or is looking for a red piece is just going to love this. Thanks for stopping by, everyone. Find your bliss.